Mysterious 165 million year old minerals found on Easter Island defying plate tectonics. And this is by the Utrecht University. Tiny minerals are revolutionizing our understanding of textbooks. Easter Island consists of several extinct volcanoes. The oldest lava deposit formed some two and a half billion years ago on top of an oceanic plate not much older than the volcanoes themselves. In 2019, a team of Cuban and Colombian geologists left for Easter Island to accurately date the volcanic island. To do so, they, restored to, they resorted to a tried and tested recipe, dating zircon minerals. When magma cools, these minerals crystallize. They contain a bit of uranium, which turns into lead through radioactive decay. Because we know how fast that process happens, we can measure how long ago those minerals formed. The team from Colombia's Universidad de los Andes, led by Cuban geologist Yamirka Rojas Agramonte, therefore went in search of those minerals. Rojas Agramonte, now at the Christian Albrecht University, Kiel, found hundreds of them, but surprisingly, not only from two and a half billion years old, but also from much further back in time, up to 165 million years ago, how could that be? Earth's mantle? Chemical analysis of the zircon showed that their composition was more or less the same in all cases, so they all had to have come from magma of the same composition as that of today's volcanoes. Yet those volcanoes cannot have been active for 165 million years because the plate below them is not even that old. The only explanation then is that the ancient minerals originated at the source of volcanism in the Earth's mantle beneath the plate long before the formation of today's volcanoes, but that presented the team with yet another conundrum. Hotspot volcanoes and their origins. Volcanoes like those on Easter Island are so-called hotspot volcanoes. These are common in the Pacific Ocean, Hawaii is a famous example. They form from large blobs of rock that slowly rise from the deep Earth's mantle, so-called mantle plumes. And when they get close to the base of the Earth's plates, the rocks of the plume, as well as from the surrounding mantle, melt and form volcanoes. Scientists have known since the 1960s that mantle plumes stay in place for a very long time while the Earth's plates move over them. Every time the plate shifts a bit, the mantle plume produces a new volcano. This explains the rows of extinct underwater volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean, with one or a few active ones at the end. Had the team found evidence that the mantle plume under Easter, Easter Island has been active for 165 million years? Subduction zones. To answer that question, Rojas Agramonte needed evidence from the geology of the Ring of Fire, an area around the ocean with many earthquakes and volcanism where oceanic plates dip and subduct into the Earth's mantle. So she contacted Ulrich geologist Dal van Hinsberger. The difficulty is that the plates from 165 million years ago have long since disappeared in those subduction zones, says van Hinsbergen, who had reconstructed the vanished pieces in detail. When he added a large volcanic plateau to those reconstructions, at the site of present-day Easter Island, 165 million years ago, it turned out that that plateau must have disappeared under the Antarctic Peninsula some 110 million years ago. And that just so happens to coincide with a poorly understood phase of mountain building and crusty formation in that exact spot. That mountain range, whose traces are still clearly visible, could well be the effect of subduction of a volcanic plateau that formed 165 million years ago. His reconstruction therefore showed that the Easter Island mantle plume could very well have been active for that long. This would also, this would solve the geological mystery of Easter Island, the ancient zircon minerals, and would be remnants of earlier magmas that were th brought to the surface from deep inside the earth, along with younger magma in volcanic eruptions. But then another problem presents itself. The classic conveyor belt theory was already difficult to reconcile 
with the observation that mantle plumes stay in place while everything around them continues to move. Van Hinsbergen said people explaining this by saying that plumes rise so fast that they are not affected by the mantle that was moving with the plates and that new plume material is constantly being supplied out of the plate to form new volcanoes. But in that case, old bits of the plume with the old zircons should have been carried off by those mantle currents away from the location of Easter Island and could not now be there at the surface. From that, we draw the conclusion that those ancient minerals could have been preserved only if the mantle surrounding the plume is basically as stationary as the plume itself. The discovery of the ancient minerals on Easter Island therefore suggests that the Earth's mantle behaves fundamentally different and moves much slower than has always been assumed, a possibility that both Rojas Agramonte and Van Hinsbergen and their teams raised a few years ago in studies on the Galapagos Islands in New Guinea and from which Easter Island now provides new clues. And this is on SciTech Daily by University of Utrecht. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My Patreon account says the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.